government at the state level. The constitution provides a separate administrative machinery to the states. There are legislatures at the state level just as there is a parliament at the central level. Some states have two legislatures while some others have only one legislature. Just as there are three organs of government at central level, at state level also there are three organs. One, the executive. The state executive consists of the governor, the chief minister and the council of ministers. The governor is a nominal executive. The administration in the state is run in his name. He is the head of the state constitutionally like the president. The governor. The executive head of the state is the governor. He is appointed by the president on the advice of the prime minister. The residence of the governor is called Raj Bhavan. He is provided with a rent-free accommodation besides usual pay and allowances. He is the first citizen of the state. Powers The powers of the governor can be classified into four categories. They are 1. Legislative powers 2. Executive powers 3. Financial powers 4. Judicial powers The Chief Minister there is a chief minister in the state just as there is a prime minister in the center. He plays a crucial role in the state administration. The chief minister is the charioteer of the state government. Even though the governor is the executive head of the state constitutionally, in reality the chief minister exercises the executive power. The governor appoints the chief minister. He appoints the members of the council of ministers on the advice of the chief minister. A tradition is being established in our country in recent days to provide an opportunity to the United Fronts to form government. The governor makes all the appointments on the advice of the chief minister. The chief minister is consulted at the time of appointment of the governor. Thus the chief minister plays an important role in the state administration. The progress of the state depends upon the efficiency of the chief minister and the policy he adopts. Council of Ministers There is a Council of Ministers under the leadership of Chief Minister at the state level to advise and assist the Governor like the one at the central level. The Council of Ministers is an important part of the Executive. The members of the Council of Ministers are responsible to the Legislative Assembly individually and collectively. The Legislature There is a Legislature at the state level just as there is a Parliament at the central level. There may be one or two houses of legislature in the state. There is only one house of legislature in other states. There are two houses of legislature in Andhra Pradesh at present. The lower house of state legislature is called the Legislative Assembly. The upper house is called Legislative Council. The Legislative Assembly The Legislative Assembly is the house of representatives of the people. The members of Legislative Assembly are elected directly by the voters through secret ballot. The strength of the state legislature is decided on the basis of population. The strength of legislature is therefore not uniform in all the states. Powers The Legislative Assembly has power to enact laws on the subjects in the state lists and concurrent list, to elect the speaker and the deputy speaker and to remove them, to counsel the council of ministers this is done through asking questions, introducing motions, refusing the bills, appointing inquiry committees, etc. To discuss the policies of the government. To control the income and expenditure of the government. To approve the annual budget. The Legislative Council The Legislative Council is an upper house just like the Rajya Sabha. The strength of this house depends on the strength of the Legislative Assembly of the state. It should not be more than one-third of the strength of the Legislative Assembly. The Judiciary We have an integral judiciary in our country. The Supreme Court and the High Courts are integral parts of the same judiciary under this system. The judiciary at the state level is described below. High Court There is a High Court in every state. There can be only one High Court jointly for two or three more states in certain circumstances. The High Court is the highest court of justice at the state level. Original Jurisdiction The High Court has the power to protect the fundamental rights of the citizens 
through issuing several writs, orders and directives. Appellate Jurisdiction The High Court, being the highest court at the state level, entertains the appeals on the judgment of the lower courts both in civil and criminal cases. Administrative Powers The High Court has supervisory powers over all the courts under the territorial jurisdiction of the state. The powers of the High Court include supervision of the work of the subordinate courts, controlling their functions, prescribing rules, regulations, procedures, etc. and implementing them. The High Court has also power to transfer cases from one court to another or take up any case for its own consideration. Subordinate Courts There are subordinate courts in each district to hear the cases. There are civil courts for civil cases and criminal courts for criminal cases and district forum for protection of consumer rights at district level separately.